Hi children, this is your ICT sir. Welcome back. This is your chapter number three, the chapter three of Pascal. So today we are going to learn about how do you write a program in Pascal. Now here I have just brought up a a file which I have written it. This is this is how you normally begin a program. You must remember to write the name program. That's a keyword. And then leaving a space, you write the name of the program. That's a very important thing. When you write a program when you write a program you must remember to mention what type of a program you are going to do here now just i read i have written here first pascal and i have made sure that it is in line so that's this is my first line and then the second line i come here you see there is a curly brace bracket open and close curly brace brackets within that I have written something here. Right, I just written right line. Help us to write more lines as right is only used for a single line. I just made what's the difference between right and right line is. Okay, now if you see here, this statement is known as a comment. Comment means the compiler will read the first line and the moment it sees a curly brace bracket open and a curly brace bracket close, it will ignore and it will go to the next line. The second, third line is, there is nothing here, then it will go to the next line, begin. Begin is the main begin of the program. And then it writes something here right line what does it write within the two brackets it writes hello world a very simple uh, a text written here and then and it ends the line from this the fourth line and then it goes to the last line and it ends and then if you want to check this you can go and run this you get hello world okay right now let's um, make some fun by using some variables in the program so let's begin from the beginning so now tell me what is the first keyword that you normally use? Program. P-R-O-G-R-A. Program. Now you have to decide. And if I just happen to run this, look at what the compiler is telling me. Run. It tells me something. What does it tell me? It needs something. What does it say? It needs to begin, yes? It, you, ne you need to give a name for it. So let's write down the name of the program. Let's give um, my... Remember, do not keep space, my first underscore pro. Just, and remember to use a semicolon and then go to the next line. The second or the third line is all about declaring variables. So I use var to do so. Var and I declare, um, I want some variables to be declared. So I'm going to use a and B followed with another C 
and they are going to be equal to using a colon I say is equals to integer values I'm going to write them as integer values and then I use another you don't need to use var again but uh, let's begin with uh, the programming begin and I make sure that I end my program using the the dot so remember begin and end now since I have declared the three variables as integer I'm going to assign them the next step of my life cycle assigning them I'm going to say a is equal to remember colon equal to I'm going to say 2 and in my line I'm going to use the same manner b is equals to equals to this time I'm going to say the value of a multiplied by 2 end line meaning the value of a which is 2 multiplied by 2 you get another value the value of b so I hope you can understand that c is equals to a plus b the value of both so a is 2 and b you will you know what is how much is b is 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 and now here I'm going to write the values on my screen as right line ln now let's just write the values right the value of e and close the bracket I want only the value of e let's put the value of b and the value of c and make sure to end the line now when you run you get a simple error now I just did it in purposely what is the error I have not used my equal sign can you see that those are called those are the areas where the compiler will tell you that you are missing an equal sign something right so follow follow that it's easy to go and then when you run you will get two hundred two four six for the first time you will really get your yourself confused it is for 246 it's not 246 the value of let's separate them in the order the value of 2 is written a the value of B is written after that 4 and the value of C is written after this this is right line let me just take the next one as so what is a right line it writes in the same line but a right line helps us to do uh, it separates them in line by line ln write ln and when you write this let's just let's just take this away separate by separate we will write them down I want 
the right line shown me a see whether it has shown me a the value a correct let's copy twice and write the following values b now i'm here going to write simple b and simple c let's see whether the compiler understands whether as we learn that it is not case sensitive let's run them it's two four six they are written in separate lines do you see that but whereas if i write this down in the right line way only using right a just look at it then you will be able to i master it very well the value of b and the value of c look at it see how the right and the right line is displayed right line separates the line but whereas right does not separate the values it it's in the same line i hope you understood this lesson okay the next we will uh, use these are numbers these are integer numbers let's make them as real real values so when it comes to real values as you know they should have decimal values so let's multiply this by a and add this to okay so we know that let's put 25 3.25 let's add something like this a plus 2.5 the value of 2.5 in this when you run it you get a big values like this doesn't matter but as long as you understand that it is 3.25 look at this we can take off these uh, decimal values i mean this zero values by uh, rounding up but for the moment let's just leave it don't confuse yourself so it is 3.25 3.25 plus 2.25 it's 5.5.50 .5 and when you add up it gives you 8.75 whereas right gives you oh, very big values like this don't confuse yourself but this is what how real numbers are shown okay real numbers the decimal numbers are shown let's move to the the character ch char character char remember when it comes to character char you are to write within a single quote so i'm going to write the value i'm going to say i'm going to put a symbol here the percentage value i'm going to use another symbol 
into it's a symbol and a letter this time maybe a letter would do let's just put B uh, maybe what let's put H okay and here a number okay a symbol a number and a character of H one word H now when you write when you run this let's run them here you are these are the values that it will show you to H and this is the right statement it gives you all these three values in one line I hope you understood this very clearly to you is it clear to you children good you can always pause go back understand what the concepts are all about okay the next is string values string string is not limited to a single character you can write many I'm going to write P R A D Pradeep Chula Pereira it's all string now you might ask me sir can I use any letters? Yes, let's just put Achula Pradeep Pereira one nine seven two nineteen seventy two. Okay. So now if you run if you run this now, let's put it into seven. It's two moons. Here you are, Pradeep Achula. Pereira space 92 and then you find all these together Pradeep Achula Pereira all this together with the right statement now I hope you are very clear about the the four data types that I have taught you next we are going to use how do you use a, a string with a number that's very important so I'm going to use three variables a B and C but they are not they are not all string only a is string and B is let's delete C I'm going to put a alone is a string value and I'm going to use another var b as integer begin since a is a string value I'm going to keep Pradeep as it is B I cannot use single quotation marks because for integer you should not use single quotation mark it has to be numbers so I'm going to delete I'm going to delete uh, the values of Achula in this along with the single quotation mark and I'm going to use 252 number now look very carefully that the placing of strings are always used within a single quotation mark within these two single quotation mark but 
when it comes to an integer, you do not use, you do not use, you must not use single quotation marks. You should not use single quotation marks. Only for strings. That is a law, that, that is a syntax. Okay, and then I'm going to use here in my right line, I'm going to delete all these. I'm going to use since this is live, so I might make a mistake, but you can always follow with me. Right line, I'm going to use A. Now you might say, sir, can I use my plus sign? And use B, meaning right line. You write A plus B. You cannot use in computer terminology, in no computer terminology, in no programming. You cannot use a string. You cannot add a string with a number. This is wrong. You cannot use this. This is very wrong. So to avoid that, do not use plus. Use a comma instead. A comma. E. Comma is like and. Just you know, A and B. Just add it. Here also the same. A and B. Let's run this. It gives both output gives me the same same pattern. Pradeep fifty two. Both are same because they are in the same line. That's the that's so. Okay. Now if I want it to to give a space here now do you see there's a space I don't have a space I can use space here but for me to do that I can use either near, near the Pradeep the last letter P I can you keep a space one space and run now you see that this space is the space that I have given given here you can use it this way but most of the programmers they like to keep something like this they use another technique um, it's you can use it if you want they can use like this look at this and the, I'm going to use the Pradeep as it was here before I'm going to delete that space and when, you, when I run I see this, this, I don't have a space. But most of these programmers, they like to do it like this. Use an inverted comma, a single comma, single quotation mark, and use another single quotation mark between, between that and comma, meaning keep a space here now this is there is a space here write a first leave a space write b it's simple as this when you run it do you see that i have i have got a space here so this is that space that i have kept here in in within this two single uh, two single quotation marks I have kept a space. You can do it either way, which is better to you. You can use which is better. Now, that depends on you whether you want to keep a space here, leaving you, or you use a, to, to join. A small space you can use in within within the two inverted commas you can write that 
that's how you add a, a, a letter or a string with an integer. Integer with an integer is just you can use with a string uh, with a plus plus command. For instance, let's just use this as integer as well here. Mm. I n t g sorry t e -G. integer. They are both integers now. I'm going to use integer values here. I'll say fifty two here. A is 52 and B is 52. Now if I really want to use to add this up I can simply use my plus sign. The plus sign. Sorry. The plus sign to add A plus B. And then here I'm going to write A the value of A and B. Here the value of A and B when you add it it's 1000. 100 and 104 this is 52 and 52 they are just simply shown here without doing any additions you can use subtraction if you want a subtract b that's zero a multiplied by b that will give me a value of 2704 if you divide that I still should get one with small small this I mean some numbers doesn't matter you can always round up them okay I hope now you understood now you can do it um, you can do all the mathematical operations So children, I hope you can understand this and then uh, if you have any doubts, please feel free to post or just send me a message, I'll help you. But the main concept is, you should remember, a program should have a, a name for it and each line whenever you write a line must end with a semicolon and then var is a keyword whereas a program is also a keyword and this is the declaring part section after the programming is written so these two lines first line second line is left third fourth they are all declaration variables leaving another line I go to the f the next line begin and here you will find they are known as assigning declared and assigned and two lines I have just left and then I have written the output of the in two patterns, in two ways, in two methods. This is very, very important for you. For exams, they will ask what is the difference between the la what is the output of right line and right is all about. So make sure that uh, you write them properly. And uh, I'll see you in the next chapter. God bless you. Take care. Bye for now. Okay, children. This is an exercise for you to check whether you have learned all the three uh, lessons that I have taught you. Uh, look at this program and identify where are the errors there are some few errors go through I'll give you five, five minutes to find your errors and let's then check with with your answers good luck
Okay. Have you found all your errors? Tell me, what is the line number one? Do I have any errors here? Yes, there is an error. What is the error? You cannot use a hyphen here. This symbol is not valid. So what should you do? Either use the underscore and after doing that, that's okay. What's the next value? What's the next error? Yes, no end line. Correct. So we have we have found two errors here. Var. Now, if you go and see, I'll, 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 I'll walk through with the, the compiler. When I run it, the compiler tells me down over here, the modifier is expected. What is expected? An equal sign. Here we go. I think the equal sign is missing here equal sign. Let's run again one more time. Hmm. Expression is expected. What is this? Now I told you when it comes to a character or an in or a string it's, it should not be a double quotation mark. It should be a single quotation mark. So you are to use that error as well. Then when I run this again one more time, type mismatch. Somewhere in this plus, it shows me it's type mismatch. Now, can I use an integer with a char to add? No, you cannot concatenate, you cannot join them together. So to join, you cannot use only integer with integer you can add. But with a different data type, you cannot add the values. You cannot con combine the values. So to combine the values, you have to take off the plus sign and use the comma. And when you run, can you tell me what's the answer? See whether you have got your answer. What's the answer? 11a 11a I hope you understood this okay children your last exercise now tell me what is the name of the program right the name of the program is school info correct name the three variables correct what are their data type the three variables are school fees bus fees extra fees and the data types are exactly integer what is the output of of school fees plus bus fees will be when it is when this is when when the program is executed, when the program is run. What is your answer? When I run, it's 11,500, correct. I place another new value here, a new, another new statement bus fees e equals 5250 another new statement a new uh, assignment i have given another new assigning value here 
write line bus fees plus extra fees what do you think what is the answer now you might say you might ask me sir is it bus fees the, the bus fees that is 5000 is it 5000 plus the extra fees or is it the new fees which is bus fees that are that is assigned next line what will be your answer is it 5000 plus 750 or is it 5250 plus 750 what will be your answer you must be right so your answer is 6000 6000 means the new value it's not 5000 it is 5250 plus so you should now remember the computer always works line by line the compiler always reads line by line line at a time so any values that are assigned previously are, are not considered it is considered with the new values here given to you I hope you understood so far now thank you children you have a nice day God bless you goodbye